several meetings trying to figure out what logistics, yeah. how we were going to make yeah. it work. To just have a report saying, here's our community values. Right. We wanted something that we could post up here other than a billboard that said, our community values were this, this, <laughs> this, and this, because that number. Yeah. It would have been very it doesn't really have quite the same message. So the components, like our members of the community were considered. So it wasn't just that it was staff or students or families, but it was really that you know, everybody is a part of this, and our community is made up of so many different components. And I think that that um, decision to come up with a mural was something that allowed all of those components to come together. I think it was the last meeting we had uh, with one of the art teachers who said to us, Well, have you met with Rick and Dean? Yeah. Very clear, very early going, that you could see that this was something that he was passionate about. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the sparkle in his eye started to talk about it and how it could perhaps uh, become something real and now we've got somebody who's willing to take them on. From there, basically, it's, this is, this has been in Dean's work. The community advisory group wanted to move into the new school with uh, something personal that the students had already made. So we're moving into a new building, but we already feel some connection to it. Other than the beautiful view of the, of the sea, there's a lot of construction areas, a lot of industrial areas. So making something that looks a little bit more rural, a little bit more peaceful, um, it's in, a, in a brightly sunlit um, atmosphere. Uh, because we're going to see this mural every day, I wanted it to be something that was easy to look at and peaceful and soothing. And, um, and I thought, what better than a, than a Danish landscape to sort of achieve that effect. distance that it would just create a sort of top layer of texture. With the pre-K kid, I just wanted it to be fun for, for them to contribute. So these larger pieces here, um, the sort of foreground, the beach area, I went into the pre-K classes and I told the pre-K kids that, that we were working on the biggest puzzle in the world. And I got them really excited about that and just one at a time uh, had the students hold out their hands and I would roll the roll the paint on their hands and then some of them on their feet and just make their simple impressions. little bit more artistic freedom as the students got older. So for the youngest kids, I asked them to, to reflect on their positive memories from our previous campus at Hellerun. Now that it's done and no one has really won the fight.
some instant coffee for my high school volunteers who have come in on a rainy Sunday in November. From middle school through high school, I allowed them to draw, but also said if you would rather write some kind of reflection or write some kind of quote or even just introduce some sort of abstract design elements, that all of those things would be would be welcome. The students, I realize that there's an opportunity there for a lot more people to contribute. And the CIS community is more than just CIS students. The more contributions, the better. Former students uh, contribute, and again, that was all thanks to uh, Suzanne O'Reilly. We've had previous administrators as far back as 1969, uh, when we were in Stenoskale, to come and sign the name on the wall. And we've had many of our alumni as well throughout the years, who are both in Stenoskale and in Hellrup. On the, the backing boards, they had been etched with the same lines as the shapes of the puzzle pieces. So it was a very, very exact where each puzzle piece goes. And it had to be exact because if one piece was, was misplaced just slightly, that would have a cascading effect and all of the other pieces would therefore be a little bit off. And then when you came to doors and windows, we would have had a big problem. All the leaves just cover the ground now And the road I eventually took When I walked away led me back to here And this time I'd like to stay Oh, I have figured it out Goodbye has a bitter taste But maybe it's worth the pain Maybe it's worth the waste A stranger in my own home Take time and take your space but maybe seeing the students' reactions and seeing especially primary school kids running around and trying to actually locate the piece that they made. Because I think there's a little bit of gap between the process, the kids who remember working in their art classes and drawing or writing their piece. I know that not all the students necessarily understood what they were doing at the time and, and that it was going to be a part of this. So I think seeing that recognition in their eyes that, oh, that's the puzzle piece that I drew, but where is mine? And having to remember, what, was it blue or was it green? And so in the process of trying to find their own, out of the 1,200 pieces, they, they have to look at all the other pieces too. So I think that that's really an exciting thing to just to see the recognition in the kids' faces that they had something to do with this, that this was their project, and then the excitement of trying to locate their own piece. That, that's really rewarding for me and, and a big, big payoff to a long running project. It's so great that the mural welcomes us to school every day because it's really who we are. It's our ideas, our, our artistic images, and it's an embodiment of our community and it reminds us of who we were before we moved here and who we are now. 
I'm so delighted that it's become such a big part of our new campus. Proud. When I, when I look at the mural, I think it's fantastic when you arrive and you see it from a distance. You have no clue that it's been a collaborative thing. You, you don't actually understand that it consists of little pieces. And as you move closer and closer, you see how the individual piece has been cut with the, with the laser cutter. And you understand also how individual members of the community, and sometimes in groups or, or pairs, have worked on the individual piece. And it's obviously also an idea that we can build on for the future because there are many walls that we can cover uh, so, so there will be milestones in the development of this new campus that, that invite uh, the community to, uh, to do similar projects. Look in triumph at your foes.